I'll give you a perfect example of what we saw in the medical record all the time. You'd see somebody with a clinically deficient level of vitamin D3. And this would go on for years and years and years and years. And you'd see that they actually are really susceptible to colds, flus, influenza. They had repeated viral infections. Um, and then all of a sudden, uh, when they get out of bed in the morning, uh, their, the soles of their feet and their ankles are really sore and achy when they walk to the bathroom to take their, their first pee. They wake up sore and achy like they had a workout the night before when they haven't. It moves up to their hips and their low back. And eventually, um, they're like, you know, they go to their primary care physician like, Doc, it, it hurts when I, you know, it's like my, my hands ache when I make a tight fist. Well, that symptom, those symptoms also mimic something called rheumatoid arthritis. And so now your doctor goes, ah, you know what, you, Jack, you've got, you got rheumatoid arthritis. Um, but don't worry, I'm going to put you on something called a corticosteroid. It's an anti-inflammatory. I'm going to give you this and you're going to be just fine. Well, the problem with corticosteroids is um, if you start a corticosteroid, our record showed that you had six years and one day until you were having a joint replacement. And what that meant was the corticosteroid first would um, be anti-inflammatory, but then it would eat your joints like a termite. And so six years and one day later, you're having a joint replacement. And after a joint replacement, your mobility starts to go down. And as you become less mobile, you bring in all the diseases that exacerbate with reduced mobility. 